Hi, just a quick update on the chainsaw issue with the pulling. I did not have success pulling the caps out. Same issues pretty much. So I went to what you see there, a little white gizmo right there, kind of shining right on it there. You can get them off eBay for a couple bucks. It's a vent for a Chinese, uh, I have one of those clone saws, I'll hold some more normal types of things. So, basically just uh, drill a hole in it. I think it was 5 16 and then maybe I had to go up one size larger. And it comes with a grommet and everything. It doesn't seem to leak, seems to do a good job. And it allows the air to vent in. It's just kind of tucked in the corner. So if you take your carb out of the way here a little bit, you just do a drill bit in there. And this is for a Strato style saw, which is similar to the newer ones they have. Um, I think this is like an old 2012, 11 model, something like that, you know? And then if you go to the slightly older models, which I didn't even want to have a problem and I'm not sure I would, but if you look right down in there, sorry, I'm getting my flashlight in the way there. They had camera work here. Let me see if that's kind of bleaching it out, but you, there you go, you can see it right there now. And uh, this one, it, it leaves a little bit of a gap there, but, um, and you, you get a little, probably a little dirt. I can probably put some silicone or something to cover it up but so far this has worked i've not had any vacuum issues with my uh with my pulling chainsaws with uh we're not wanting to start when they're hot and that seems to have done the issue haven't run them a whole lot though to be honest with you and if you want to get the part let's see here that would be this dude right here let's see of course made in china but that's I'm not even sure that's a good part number, but if you look up uh, small engine, I don't know, chainsaw vent, something like that, and you search it on eBay, you'll find it. So hopefully, uh, maybe that helps you out. But like I said, having any trouble really running them, these are both just two saws that I, they're both blown, my old ones, and I put those cheap eBay cylinders on it, and that's pretty much, uh, Went through and put a made a dual port on this one and and put it together and tried doing a little opening up the ports a little bit but I know I didn't deburr it properly so because I didn't know any better learning but then this one here I uh, I went hog wild on it I'd never degreed it though because I didn't have a degree wheel and I really didn't understand what I was doing I just widened the ports on it and opened up the front on the uh, the muffler a bit here and uh this one has some pretty stout compression i i kept milling out the pockets for the bearings to raise it up and uh i have a feeling it's going to be uh, a decent runner if i ever get some time really to run it hard because you normally you normally can't pull a pull-in chainsaw like that and actually have it hold compression it's it's pretty stout <laughs> So, um, we'll see what happens with it, though. I probably threw all the timing numbers off doing it because I didn't know any better, but uh, we'll see what happens with it. So, anyway, over and out.